Yo, what's good? It's your boy T-R-E-N-T, -E and I'm back one more again. This time I'm back with my brand new statement called First Time Hearing, where I dig in the crates, find old songs that I should know about, but I haven't heard. This is about to be my first time hearing it. So unlike the other YouTubers and reactors, I do not skip the song. I do not pause the song. I listen to the whole song, and at the end, I get my commentary. I grade each song from zero to 10, 10 being the best. So if it's a trash song, y'all already know, that's five and below. If it's mid, average, okay, that's a six. Now, if it's a good song, depending on me and y'all, that's seven to 10. So make sure y'all stay tuned to the end so y'all can give y'all grade with me. And make sure y'all follow me on every social media at Look Trent Music. When we get the 10K subs, there will be a cash app giveaway and you might be the winner. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and stay to the end. You dig, but... This is first time here. You fucking now, Danny going on a bunch and making reaction bits. <laughs> I hate you niggas that make reaction bits. <laughs> this is my first time listening to the Queen. The show must go on. And I don't know if I'm reacting, watching the video, but I'm reacting to the music. So stay to the end.
Okay, the show must go on, bro. Y'all know the y'all know how it is. The show must go on. That's by Queen. Um, definitely a dope song. Before I get my grade, let's talk about it. What it? I don't know when they recorded. I don't know if it was late in their career, midday in their career, but um, the the message of the song is the show must go on. You hear it all the time, like regardless if it's a of artists singing or whatever, you gotta keep the show going because you gotta. It's about the fans at the end of the day. They want to hear this music. They want to see the show, regardless of what happened. Like you see groups, they'll break up, but they'll still put on the show. Like um, I don't want to just name people, but even One Twelve broke up, and they was like half of One Twelve, and they kept on singing. But it's like. Regardless of where you are in life, the show must go on, especially when you got group members. Um, it's sad that Freddie Mercury died because he was the lead singer of Queen. And it's like without him, you don't have that 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 unique voice that we we would love to hear nowadays. Like I said in the last video, if Queen was still doing live tours like i'm talking about the original four i would go see them of course i think the drum i i thought that the drummer and the uh brian the uh the electric guitar player he was st they still alive but they had different front men that i don't know if they had somebody from maroon five on it but they had adam lambert i know adam lambert he um Play. He he was singing the front lead. He was singing Freddie Mercury parts, and I like the fact they they could do shows like that. But um, the show must go on. They said uh, John retired. John Deacon he retired, but I feel like sometimes the show must go on. You know what I mean? And yeah, I'm muted because I cannot. Um, I don't want to get flagged on YouTube, at least. You know what I'm saying? And, um, that's all. But, with that being said, um, Freddie Mercury, I feel like he will want Queen to continue doing the shows. They probably still do shows and whatnot with just the two of them, and they'll probably figure out the rest, but the show must go on. And that got me thinking about just life in general. Like, it's a life statement. Like, that's a big statement because it's crazy all the talent people we lost. Um, But it, but life still go on. Like, after we lose them, it's still life. Like, the world don't stop. You know what I'm saying? And you want to continue your legacy. And I, I even think about that shit myself. Like, even doing any YouTube reactions. I know, God forbid, something happened to me. It's going to be somebody new doing reactions or whatnot. And they got to continue doing it. You know what I'm saying? And just life goes on. You, It's, it's a big... It's, it's, it's crazy, but I lost a lot of people in my life. And life still goes on. And sometimes the best way to live life is just to keep living it. You know what I mean? And that just mean like, regardless what it is, you may lose somebody, but you still have to be there for your life. You still got to continue. And they, they will want you to continue their life. They don't want you to be sad and grieving forever. They probably want you to celebrate them. Like, remember them, remember them, remember the good times and all that stuff. But the show must go on. You gotta, you gotta, pick up the pieces and and, and and keep moving. And this is the last song of the night. I'm glad I'm ending on this because this song is deep. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give this song 0 out of 10. I'm going to give it another 8.9 because it was actually, it regardless of the messaging, it was still a good song. If Freddie Mercury was still live today, I would say it's a good song. But the fact that he died and some of the, I seen a t-shirt that had Queen the show must go on, like, they was, it was a perfect group, like, you know what I mean, and nobody can replace Freddie Mercury, 
all we can do is um keep his memory alive and we doing that right now by me not only reacting to it by y'all reacting to it y'all listen to his music y'all giving y'all grade sometimes some sometimes these people are so important y'all listen to these people every day uh they music every day y'all keep their music alive and one thing about that's the one thing i love about music is like even the people who died like take the temptations for instance, like to this day, I could jam a temptation songs like it ain't nothing like and it sounds so incredible. Like you think like, damn, how they made this? Like my girl was such a classic. Like they made that in a time before the technology we have. Like y'all got to think about it. They made all this stuff before the time and a song is still not only just playing in rotation. It's still a hit. It's still a vibe of giving you them vibes. And, um, yeah, I like it. So, 0 out of 10, my score right now is an 8.9. It's not a 9 or it's not a 10. It's an 8.9. I want to know what y'all think about this song. What y'all think about Freddie Mercury? What do y'all think about Queen as a whole? Do y'all want me to react to more Queen songs? I know there's a lot of Queen songs. And somebody told me in the comments that, oh, one down, 300 to go. I'm like, damn, I got 300 more songs to react to? Fuck. I'm not going to react to all 300 songs in one night or one sitting or one, you know what I'm saying? I, but I do take y'all suggestions. More Queen, I want to get more familiar with them, even though they're my favorite group. I think I'm going to get on. I do a first time watching series where I watch their live performances. Y'all gave me them. I reacted to a couple of um, Queen live reactions on first time watching. Y'all go check that out. But it's some more songs that they did live. Regardless if I've heard them or not, I want to check them out. Uh, other groups like Oasis. Oasis is my second favorite group. Fun is my third favorite group. And I do want to put y'all on some music. So I do want y'all to subscribe. And you know what I'm saying? Be part of the first time hearing community. The first time watching community. And check out my own vlogs. Like I said, the show must go on. I like creating memories like this stuff. It's not just, you know what I'm saying, me reacting. It's like actual timestamps. I actually like listening to music and, um, you know what I'm saying, documenting this stuff. But uh, with that being said, I'm about to hop off this hole. I'm done with the night. We're about to do some live reactions. But this is for my YouTube community and my Twitch community. If y'all want me to react to some music, let me know in the comments right now. We're about to get to it. If y'all still on here, let me know. That boy say, bro was talking for nothing. Bro, bro, what are you talking about? Bro, bro, you want to get out of here, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? You want to get out of here? You can get out of here. Like, I want some real shit. I'm, I'm straight positive vibes. I don't mess with no negative energy. All the negative shit y'all talking about on the, in the comments, trying to make a nigga laugh and make the whoever the y'all think y'all audience is um, laugh. Because your audience you trying to make laugh is really my audience. So it's like, it's really not funny. But I can I could take a joke. And um, I'm not scared of none of this shit. But anywho... We about to catch a vibe on Twitch right now. So when I like I said, when we get the 10k subs, there will be a re, a cash app giveaway. You could be the winner, they could be the winner. Any one of these live streams, I'm live on TikTok right now. I'm live on YouTube. I'm live on Twitch. I'm live on um on Twitter. Follow me on every social media. Look Trent Music and leave your grade if y'all rocking out. If not, I'll.